Hello, tiny people trapped within the confines of my laptop. I'm Finn, and today... We're going to be having a serious conversation. Uh, today's little chat with Finn is going to be very serious. So, trigger warning. If you are not comfortable talking about or hearing somebody talk about addiction, drugs, sex, or abuse, get out of here. I'll give you a couple seconds. You're gone? Okay. Good. So, uh, today's going to be me talking about my experiences with addiction. Woohoo! And giving what I think is sound advice for people going through it, people who fear that they might go through it, and people who are trying to s stray away from it. Um, originally, I was going to have Kevin McLeod in the background of this. Didn't feel it. Didn't feel like it fit the tone. So it's just me. Uh, so I'll start where it started. When I was very young, uh, I was around my whole family. Pretty much everyone except for my grandmother was an addict of some of some type. A majority of them being addicts of alcohol. Drugs, uh, sex, or all three. And growing up, I didn't understand that those things were a problem. Uh, without making this a sob story and being like, My dad left and my mom uh, pretty much had me be homeless. And da, 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 da. Without going into all of that, because I, I don't feel like it's needed for the, the theme or for the advice that I want to give. Long story short, a lot of addicts, a lot of them surrounding me, me not learning that those things are bad. Uh, fast forward a while, I am now 14, and I go camping with some family members, and I get drunk for the first time, and it was very not good. I got very sick, had a... Had an issue with my kidney. Not fun at all. Um, shortly after this, my 15th birthday came around. And I drank on my birthday an entire bottle of Jack Daniels. Which doesn't sound like much. But I was 15. And a skinny, short little 15 year old. Very lightweight human. <laughs> and from, from that day... There was 400 and something odd days straight where every single day I was drinking as a child. Every single day I was drinking. And it wasn't for fun. It was to forget. It was to move on. It was to be numb. It was to be away from the pain that surrounded me which so many other people who have addictions feel and understand and go through. And sadly, that's not the end of that for me. During that time, I was in two relationships, neither of which went well. I'm not going to dive into what the problems were in them, because I've been fairly open about that ver that like part of who I was and how much I want to distance myself from it. But long story short, it was very unhealthy, both of them. Separately, they weren't at the same time. I was not just a bad guy, I was a bad person. And it was due to my addiction, and due to my ignorance of how badly I was treating people, and due to all of that. And then, uh, I'd say July of me being 16, I stopped drinking. I sobered up, and I didn't drink. I didn't do, I didn't drink. I didn't do drugs, anything crazy. I was just there. 
And I got into a relationship with a lady who I will not be naming out of respect for her. And my addictive personality was still there because I hadn't learned to take care of it and take care of myself and health and healthily go forward. I, uh, in this relationship, it was very, uh, mutual. Neither of us had emotions for each other. We were in it for sex. And at the time, I didn't know you could be addicted to that. Uh, looking back, I should have known because my family had people that were, but I, I didn't know that that was like a genuine, legitimate problem. People being addicted to sex. And I was. Uh, and then that relationship ended, and my addiction to sexual pleasure did not go away. Uh, from that point moving forward, I'd say... Probably up until maybe the March after turning 17, every day, three times a day, I would uh, self-please. I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube. And that was really unhealthy. Uh... And I don't want to shame people who who do that. But they there's a difference between doing that and doing it multiple times a day, every single day. And I wasn't I wasn't understanding that it was an issue. Um alongside not understanding that was an issue, I didn't understand the issue with me watching and viewing so much porn. Uh, I've never been... I never really watched, like, regular porn, I guess. Like, just a camera and two actual humans. It was always, like, comics and animations and stuff. Uh, which... Kind of fucked with my brain. Because... For the longest time... Everything in my life was pretty much me pushing myself to be more into that shit, which ruined friendships, it ruined relationships, it ruined chances at all sorts of things. And when I started to realize that there was a problem, I started working on it. It didn't change for a long time. But the summer of 2020, the summer of 2023, I worked on that alongside a lot of other things. And as of, as of June something, it'll be a year since I have done Anything that was put on by my addictive past. I haven't... I've drank sparingly with a family member at a, like, special occasion. Other than that, I haven't done that in... Almost two years. I have not. I have been sexual, but I have not been stuck to it and animalistic about it and whatnot in almost a year. And more importantly than being away from things that I have done, I have taken care of myself to ensure that I won't do that again or become addicted to anything else. Um... And I want to... Now, now that the, the backstory is out of the way, I want to give advice to people who are currently dealing with that. Because it sucks. Nobody 
Nobody likes being addicted. Some people don't understand how fucked it is, and their brain doesn't allow them to see how messed up it is, and they think it's okay, but it's not. So, segmented, I'm going to give advice. Generally. And this doesn't work for everybody, which is why I say generally instead of every single time. Talk with someone. It, it can be your best friend, it can be a family member, it can be a doctor, it can be somebody at a clinic that works to help people with addiction. Talk to somebody, please. You're, you're not only affecting your life and hurting yourself, you're hurting everyone who cares about you. You're hurting your friends, you're hurting your family, you're hurting people you work with, you're hurting yourself. <laughs> Even if it feels fun and adventurous and like it's fulfilling, it's not. It, it, it's tricking you into thinking you're being fulfilled. It's tricking you into thinking you're happier and thinking you're doing better. But in reality, it's dragging you away from all of the things that actually help you. I have watched myself and countless family members and countless friends fall down a rabbit hole of that and never be able to crawl back up and I even if it's just one one single person I want that I want to have somebody not do that whether you're in it now and you're trying to crawl out or you're thinking about it and you want a reason to not or if you're far from it and you just are here to hear another reason not to don't if you are going to drink or have sex or if you were going to do a drug or whatever be smart and be safe and take care of yourself and those around you please next i want to specifically talk about being addicted to alcohol because a lot of people treat alcoholism as if it's not an addiction it is talk to somebody like before, but find things to keep you busy because it's, it's really hard to drink yourself terribly when you can't take the time to do it. It's very hard to drink and do things. I'm not saying drink and drive. Don't. I'm saying... Find something to do to challenge yourself and your mind and your body in a way that causes you to need your cognitive function more. Do a sport. Uh, go on a hike. Uh, play video games. Whatever. Do something that challenges your brain to make you not need it. To not need the alcohol. To, to make you feel like it will mess up what you're doing. Do something fun that you don't need that for. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that people shouldn't drink at all. I think socially drinking uh, or drinking for fun or whatever is perfectly fine. Do that. I advise my friends to. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the sober friend. I'm the guy who drives, you know. Drink. That's cool. But... Drink responsibly. The the next little tidbit of advice is one that I have. <laughs> if you are dealing with a drug addiction, whether it is opioids or if you're dealing with something with a harder kick like <laughs> methamphetamine or anything like that, e even if it's a simple pain pill addiction, whatever it is. It might feel like you need it. It might feel like it completes you. It might feel like heaven the moment it hits. But it's not. It's not heaven. It's not helping at all. It's hurting you. And it's hurting your family. It is hurting your friends. It is hurting every single part of your life. And I have watched 
countless family members be go from being a person who I knew and cared about to somebody I had never met because of something like that. And the idea of that happening to other people and having their families see that and lose them and please, please try to stay away from that stuff. Obviously, I can't tell you not to take pain pills. If you're in pain, take them. But don't let them become... Don't let them become something bigger than helping with pain. Take care of yourself. And the last piece of advice I have is specifically for those who deal with an addiction to sex, an addiction to masturbation, an addiction to porn, whatever it is. You don't need that. And I'm not telling you to never have sex. I'm not telling you to never masturbate. Sex is great. (laughs) But don't let it become who you are. Because sex is great. It's fun. It's fulfilling. Awesome. Don't let it be your personality. Don't let it be who and what you are. Don't let it control you. Don't let your brain run on that simple idea of I, I, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Don't, do, don't, don't let that be part of you. And if you're already stuck in that loop, or you already watch porn all the time, or you already masturbate multiple times every single day, or you already have sex all the fucking time, and you're realizing... This feels good, but it's getting in the way of this, or this, or whatever. Please, take the time to figure out why you do it. Because people do it for different reasons. Figure out why this is something you want and need, and work to get past it. Work to find other, more impactful ways to grow yourself and fulfill yourself and your needs, and to make you a better person, and I understand, I, before the comments are, oh, well, you've already done it, and it's difficult here, and ta 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 I know, I battle with it every single day, there's not a single day where I wake up and don't think about it, there's not a single day where I don't think I should get a drink, I should just Do that. I feel bad today. I'm going to take these painkillers. I feel bad today. I'm going to... Whatever. I get it. And I understand some people are going to say, Well, I don't have the resources for this. I didn't either. And I am not better than you. At all. There's not a single part of me that thinks I'm a better person than you. And I've been there. So I know you can do it. I'm a short, skinny, stupid fucking white kid. I'm not funny. I'm not attractive. I, uh, th- there's nothing there that puts me above you. And I can do it. So I know you can. And the resources of I can't afford to go to th- this office and do this thing. And I can't, I can't go to a rehab center and whatnot. I get it. I didn't get to. There's hundreds of thousands, millions of people who go through it daily who are trying and I'm not saying if you fuck up tomorrow that I'm gonna hate you or if you fuck up next week nobody's gonna care you're allowed to fuck up but you if you're trying trying to be better every single day you try I'm proud of you if you if you fuck up if you do and you acknowledge you fucked up and you work on it the next day to not fuck up again, I'm proud of you. And I am so incredibly passionate about this and incredibly passionate about the people who go through it and who are around people that go through it. I, my heart goes out to every single addict. My heart goes out to every single family member of an addict, friend of an addict partner of an addict, whatever, and if 
the the Discord link will be in the description. If you need someone to talk to, go there, find my name, send me a friend request, talk to me, I will listen, whatever the fuck you need to say, if you're feeling su- uh, self-harm thoughts, or if you're thinking about hurting another person, or if you think you're gonna go down a rabbit hole of drinking, or smoking, or you're gonna have an issue with sex, or whatever, anything, I am here to fucking listen. I don't do anything. I make YouTube videos, I deal with kids, and I fucking talk to people on the Discord. I don't do anything. I have time for you. I care. So please, please, please reach out if you need the help. There, there is, there is people out there who will help you. Sometimes it's really hard to find them, but they're there. Um, I'm going to have a couple things in the description of this. The Discord will be there, but I'm going to have it close to the bottom. I don't want it to be... I'm not trying to promote it. It's specifically so that you can find like-minded people and talk to me. Above that, I'm going to have a thing for better help. I do not have a sponsor with them. This is not a, a, like a deal thing. I just think they're really good at helping people. And if you need the help from a professional, I think they can help you better than I can. So I'm going to have them there. Please reach out. Please take care of yourself. And please, please don't allow yourself to fall into that pit. And if you are in that pit right now, don't allow yourself to stay there. Get out. Climb out. Get help. I don't know if everyone cares. And I highly doubt it. There's a lot of people who aren't going to give a single shit. But I care. You're a stranger. I'm a stranger. And I give a shit. So please. Please take care of yourselves. And I know my advice isn't perfect. There's better motivational speakers. But please. Please listen to it if you heard it. Thank you.